They risk their lives on a daily basis to keep us safe. Tonight, the community coming together to support our first responders. Good evening. I'm Katie Orth. And I'm Eddie Flores. The annual Top Cop Dinner was held tonight at the Horseshoe Pavilion in Midland. Katie and I, of course, were there along with Big Two's Felice Romero, who joins us now in the studio with more. Felice. Eddie and Katie, it's quite the event. Along with picking the top cop from each law enforcement agency, each agency receives money for much needed equipment. A night full of music, raffle tickets, dinner, and first responders. But for our local law enforcement, this event means much more. Uh, we're lucky to live in West Texas because Texas supports law enforcement and, uh, you know, we. Like, you know, our committee worked really hard to get this going. The sixth annual Bustin' for Badges event kicking off Thursday. Each department, Midland Police Department and Sheriff's Office, as well as the Odessa Police Department and Ector County Sheriff's Office, benefiting from the fundraiser. All four agencies will equally split the money raised by the community. I mean, with this money, it helps us buy things that we really, really need. Sergeant Jimmy Young says MPD will use the extra funds to buy robots that they can send out when they get a call to check on the surrounding area. And sometimes that money's not in the budget, so with the Busting for Badges money, uh, it helps us get those items. So. Sheriff Griffiths says he has an idea on how Ector County will be using that money also. This, this money will, will help us buy things that's not normally budgeted. Uh, extra uh, bulletproof vest, extra ammunition, extra weapons. The dinner also included a concert for those who attended. The Busting for Badges event kicked off this morning with a clay shooting tournament. There will also be one tomorrow morning at Wind Walker Farms. Reporting live in the studio, Feliz Romero, Big Two News.